Wake up, oh, let's see you dream. Wake up. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's asking us to solve this um, by graphing. So what I need to do is I need to make sure I can solve both of these. All right. Now I'm going to solve both of them each a different way. Just to remind you of whenever you have an X and Y on the same side, there's kind of two different methods that we want to talk about. So the first way, I'm going to solve by the X and Y intercept method. For some of you, this might make more sense and you might, you might like this method better. So remember that uh, the X and Y intercept method, just have X equals zero, that's for your Y intercept, and then do Y equals zero to find your X intercept. Okay, so all I do is I put zero in for X, plus, and then what I do is I solve for Y. So I divide by three, so Y equals negative one. For this one, I put a zero in for Y, so I have X plus three times zero equals negative three. So X equals negative three. So therefore, my X intercept is at negative three, and my Y intercept is at negative one. Now, if that makes sense to you, do all the problems whenever you have an X and Y on the same side, just like that. It's really helpful when the X and Y's are on the same side. It doesn't have to be though. Um, or some of you might prefer to do use this method. Some of you really understand when your equation is in y equals mx plus b form. So if you really understand when it's in that form, always put your equations in that form and you can graph it. So to do that, I have an x that's being added to my y and a negative 3 that's multiplied by my y. So I need to undo those operations to get my y by itself. So to do that, I'm going to subtract the x, and I'll have a negative 3y equals negative x minus 3. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to get rid of this negative 3, I'm going to divide by negative 3. Therefore, I get y equals x negative x divided by negative 3 is going to be a positive 1 third, right? Because we can say there's a 1 in front of that x. So I'll be left with a 1 third x. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is going to give me a positive 1. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, to graph these two lines, since I'm solving the system, I'm going to put them on the same axis. So, or actually, so I'm going to go up one, and this one tells me to go up one over three. So I go up one is my y-intercept. Then I need to go up one over three. One, two, three. And I graph the line. So that's my first line. That's that equation right there. Then if I wanted to solve this one, this one says my y-intercept's at negative one, and my x-intercept's at negative three. So down one, one, two, three. So that graph looks like that. So remember guys, we're trying to solve the system, right? So we need to find where our that what is the value for x and y when our systems are equal to each other or when our two equations are equal to each other? Well, you guys can see they're equal to each other at this coordinate point. And this coordinate point has an x and a y value, right? So the x value for this is negative 3, and the y value is at 0. So therefore, that's how you graph it. Got it? Make sense?